Hello, my name is Frank Bengel. I am one of the meeting chairs of the next International Conference of Nuclear Cardiology and Cardiovascular CT, which will be held in May in Berlin uh, next year. And I'm happy to sit here uh, with Oliver, Oliver Gemperli, who is a young cardiologist from uh, University of Zurich, who is increasingly active in the field of cardiovascular imaging, and we look forward to his participation at the next ICNIC meeting. Oliver, tell me, where do you see non-invasive cardiovascular imaging in the future? I think the uh, future of uh, cardiovascular imaging is bright. We will see more and more imaging in cardiology. However, I think that the, the structure of imaging centers will be slightly different in the future. I think we're moving away a little bit from the uh, modality-based thinking uh, uh, for cardiovascular imaging rather towards uh, a more organ-oriented imaging uh, center where all the modalities are basically under one umbrella. And I think that uh, by doing this, we can really um, work together, all experts in their particular fields work together to provide the best service for our patients and also join our efforts together for research and clinical work. Thank you. Yeah, well, one of our uh, desires is actually to meet the educational needs of the young cardiovascular imagers uh, with our meeting. Um, what are the biggest needs in your eyes in training and education regarding cardiovascular imaging? Well, I think that we need to establish uh, clear uh, training, um, training requirements for uh, uh, people who want to be trained in cardiac imaging, and those should be probably uh, written down for... Uh, for uh, uh, in a, in a, from, our, uh, from the large um, uh, uh, guideline committees, for example. However, I think that we also in, our, in, in particular hospitals and in national organizations, we need to uh, implement imaging more in the training of cardiology fellowships. I see it in our hospital. Uh, imaging is still not fully integrated into the curriculum of a, of a young cardiologist. And I think this is the task of... Uh, every uh, single uh, hospital, every single nation to uh, integrate imaging more into their uh, curriculum for training of cardiac fellows. So um, when I was young actually for me it was an exciting experience to meet um, professionals at a meeting uh, in person. Now we have the time of smartphones and internet and iPad. Do you think that there's still a value to personal exchange with leading professionals at meetings such as ICNIC? Absolutely. I think uh, the personal exchange cannot be replaced by our multimedia tools. Of course, the multimedia tools have improved massively education, training uh, and dissemination of knowledge. Uh, but I still believe that meeting an ex expert face-to-face -face is very important because there are many things that you can ask. Uh, usually the information about how they do things, how it is done in their country, uh, what, pers what is their personal opinion about certain things is, is, is usually invaluable and this is something you don't get from multimedia. Yeah. Uh, you know, another thing that is important for us is to really learn how a meeting such as ICNIC can best attract young, professional, young professionals towards a career in cardiovascular imaging. What is your take on that? Well, I think that uh, every young fellow who decides or is thinking about his future, he will want to do something that, uh, where he knows that it has a future, that it will be important in the future, and that by, by doing so, he will help patients and and, and move cardiology forward. And I think uh, this is, uh, imaging is one of these things. And a meeting such as a meeting for cardiac imaging uh, uh, would be important to show exactly this, that imaging is important in the cardiology uh, community, that we make a difference with imaging, and that the future, uh, there are many new developments uh, which uh, will be important in the, uh, in the future, and that the future of, hybrid of imaging is, imp is, is, is bright and is interesting. And another thing that's important for us when organizing a meeting such as ICNIC is to really cover the most important areas. So I was wondering, in your opinion, what has been the biggest step forward in cardiovascular imaging in the last couple of years? I think the most uh, important development was, in my eyes, probably CT. Cardiac CT has evolved uh, in the last decade uh, uh, massively. And uh, I think uh, at the present moment, there's no other technique which has the ability for the non-invasive uh, uh, visualization of coronary arteries with such a good reproducibility and also clinical robustness 
uh, like CT. So for me, CT has really been the milestone of um, the last five to ten years. Yeah, this is actually one of the major reasons why a couple of years ago it was decided that ICNIC would not only focus on nuclear cardiology but also on cardiovascular CT and hybrid imaging. Likewise, I'd also be interested in your opinion, what is the biggest threat for cardiovascular imaging at present? What do you think? That's a difficult question. There are always threats to everything. Um, I think uh, we need to be careful. We are um, living in a time of financial crisis. We will get uh, uh, a lot of pressure from healthcare insurance systems because uh, all imaging modalities are exploding. We are using them more and more. So I think personally uh, we need to be critical about uh, using imaging in a sensible way and it's very important also that uh, we join our efforts together across nations, across the ocean, also together with industry to able, be able to conduct and, produ uh, and produce the evidence, the trials that are needed to endorse the use of imaging. So we are able to use it in a more evidence-based uh, uh, fashion. Well, thanks, Oliver, for your perspective on the future of our field of imaging. And I really look forward to meeting you next year in Berlin, uh, you and everybody else. Uh, and I look forward to an exciting meeting there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Frank. Thank you.